Hello, everybody. It's Sephiroth 204 for another Crisis Core mission video. No, I'm just kidding. We're actually doing story. Oh my gosh. How long has it been? Anyway, uh, welcome back to another episode of Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII. In the last story video, we started building a flower car for Eris. And then we kind of got sidetracked by doing like every mission possible. Uh, but anyway, we can talk to this guy now because we did the mission for him. Why do you boys and soldiers continue to risk your lives in battle? If I were in your shoes, I would find it unbearable to have to fight for Shinra. I have to admit, there are times when I get sick of always being at the company's beck and call, but... Have you ever heard of the term... Cetra? Hmm, Cetra? No, can't say that I have. The Cetra will return to the Promised Land, a land that promises supreme happiness. It is said that the Promised Land is fertile with an overabundance of Mako energy. So if the Promised Land becomes ours, we would have all the energy we needed, without Mako reactors. The Cetra are thought to know the location of this wonderful Promised Land. Hmm, sounds like a fairy tale to me. Oh really? The science department has invested vast amounts of money to study this fairy tale. Even if it means making the most inhuman sacrifices. I'm not getting you, Doc. What are you talking about? My point is this. Shinra is an entity that deserves to perish. I've been looking for you, Professor. I'm taking you into custody. Oh, no, not console. Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? <laughs> we now know that he has been releasing test monsters from Professor Hojo's laboratory. It's been you this whole time! The intention of them attacking Midgar. Why would you do a thing like that? The research conducted by the science department has always been tantamount to sacrilege. The time has come to atone for our sins. Nothing less, nothing more. You're not making any sense. You want to destroy Midgard to atone for your sins? We have... We had even sacrificed a fallen of the last surviving Cetra. To atone for that, we could destroy Midgard twice and it would still not be enough. Sadness. He was the number two guy in the science department after Professor Hojo. Really? I thought that was a Hollander. I guess Hollander isn't part of it anymore. He was always a well-respected member of the department. What could have happened to him? Yeah, this And we get the mithril tools, which is for to make the... The whole point of this was to get stuff to make a flower cart. But yeah, uh, the, the science department is, is... I mean, not the science department. Shinra's just been tearing itself apart. That's kind of sad to see. Um, but yeah, so let's just take a look at ourselves. If you haven't been following in the mission videos, which, I don't know, they've been kind of fun to watch. Uh, although I'm kind of biased because I'm... Uh, the one doing it <laughs> um, we we got a lot let's go over to the uh, the save point just so I can show you our our current completion and things like that uh, we're not going to be doing more missions until we get to chapters 9 and 10 I think right now we're in chapter 7 so yeah it's gonna be a little while that we're gonna have uh, some story interludes with actual story for a few more episodes, isn't that great? But uh, as you can see, we are at 72%. Uh, the only new missions we have is the Great Cavern of Wonders, which we just have the, the second half of it, which are, it's gonna be mostly impossible for me to do. This unlocks in chapter 10, this unlocks in chapter nine, this unlocks in chapter 10, and this unlocks in chapter 10. So yeah, not gonna be getting to that. But with 72% completion, that's 72 times three is, uh, 221, 6, 216 missions out of 300 completed, so yay! I think my math was right there. Uh, also, let's take a look at our equipment now. We have Kiraga, Gaviga, a materia that makes Zantetskin uh, happen more, which I love. Uh, we have Costly Punch, which is the most overpowered thing. We have the Dring Master Dringa over here, which gives us uh, a bazillion HP. And um, we have Dash because I like Dash. We have Brutal here, which sets the damage limit. Protect Ring, which is uh, Barrier and M Barrier, which is why we don't have uh, Wall on. Admin Bangle, which lets me break uh, past 9,999 health. So Dranga actually does something. And Wizard Bracelet, which makes elements not work on me. So yay, we're really overpowered. Uh, I'm probably going to just play around with my materia as we go along till chapter 10 because I don't think I'm just going to costly punch everything. I am going to heal up here because my HP is low, and with Costly Punch, it's good to not have it over your max. Which I don't, but it also, you know, may as well uh, do this now just to reset everything. Yay! 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to play around with. Right now, we're not going to need that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, so in the last uh, story episode, ooh, excuse me, we were uh, looking for uh, parts, and we were told to go look for a car, because maybe we can like get tires off of it or something. And that car is on Loveless Avenue. Just trying to think, is there... Let's see... I just want to see if uh, there was it's another place I wanted to go. I wanted to go to the train station, I think. This is where we just came out from, right? Yeah. So that's Shinra. That's Loveless. There's just a few other people I want to talk to to get stuff done. I don't remember if I talked to them yet. Um, train station is up here, right? I'm going in the wrong direction. <laughs> I haven't I haven't gone past that little safe point area in a very long time, okay? <laughs> um, there should be someone. You? If you remember, there's the boy that was by the fan club people that uh, was like, my mother just ran off after she heard Angeal died. What do you think you're doing, lady? Your little boy's looking for you. Please don't stop me. I have to go look for Angeal. What are you saying? What about your kid? Uh, what do you think Angeal would say if you were alive and right here in front of you? If you want to be a mother, embrace your dreams. A mother without honor is nothing but a monster. The kid's a little more important. Just a little. Now he would be talking about honor. Nothing but a monster? Yeah, I suppose if Angel were here, he would say that. You got a good kid. He's always been worried about you. I'm sorry. I hope he grows up to be a great guy like Angel. Me too. And we never hear from them again. No, let's go back to the boy, though. Hey, child. When I grow up, I'm going to be a Blitzball. Okay. So yeah, now we go talk back to the kid person uh, by the where it was before, and then we'll go into Loveless because we're gonna be going back to Sector Five a little bit, yeah, over here a little bit later. But uh, for now, let's just talk to the kid person. I realize my mom needs the fan club to be mom, so I offered to help out the fan club's activities. My mom said for now on she's gonna take care of things around the house. Wow. You guys are happy together, so happy together. Gonna keep run the Keepers of Honor together with my boy. My boy. You're still a valuable member. I hope you'll continue to support us. Yay. 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 So yeah, that just makes sure that the fan clubs stay alive. Um, you can actually do you know, all the fan clubs here. We, uh, I think last time we merged the uh, Genesis fan clubs. Uh, so we just saved the Angeal fan club and we learned about our fan club as well. And now we just have to go back to that woman that uh, runs the Silver uh, Elite fan club. Uh, first things first. A brand new car! Hello. Not really brand new. But it is a car. What do you think, my man? Don't this monster make you all tingly? I'm looking for parts to build a wagon, so I got a favor to ask you. A favor? I see, so you're trying to build a flower wagon for this heirs girl. Tell you what, my good man. You can have these. Worn tires. Thanks. These tires can withstand speeds of up to 140 miles per hour. They're precious to me, but... I'm venturing on your success. I'll be sure not to use them. Oh, hey, big guy. Well, you found tires. It's great. Lastly, the instructions. I mean, who knows how to build a wagon without instructions, right? Yeah, I've already got a book with instructions with me. Great. What are you looking at me like that for? I didn't steal it. Uh-huh. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, no, I don't have it. 
I put it in my carrying case because I knew it was important. What kind of car- what kind of carrying case? A Shinra army mask! I picked it up in the slums. A Shinra army I remember seeing one recently. Yeah. Hey, maybe you accidentally dropped it in- uh, He's gone already. We gotta head back to Sector 5. Oh boy! Just gotta get the toad voice out of the way there. Oh boy! Uh, so yeah, um, in uh, actual recording time when I'm making this, uh, Katamari Forever is now finished, so this is going to be my, uh, my only project, so I uh, might finish up soon, actually, because the last bunch of bits of the game, gameplay-wise, I think end kind of fast, or go kind of fast. The most time that it will take me is, is doing the missions, probably. But that's always how it's been. I am severely overpowered right now. Like, in a in a non-funny way. There is no jokes about this one. Let's, uh, let's, let's head out over here. For a second I thought that it was, it wasn't open because the door was closed. I was like, oh god, am I, how did I get locked out of that? But thank goodness, no. So first we're gonna go this way. <laughs> I crushed your uncle's forces. If you remember her uncle's Don Corneo, and we did a whole bunch of missions to uh, to curb his excessive forces. So that was fun. Ended with fighting Humbaba. Uh, but yeah, let's silver elite woman. Uh, camera. Fan club members, assuming you're receiving exclusive rare photos of Sephiroth, isn't exciting. I can't wait to see them. It's all thanks to the chairwoman. She must really be close to Setheroth. <sighs> I wish I could be that close to him. Oh, we got new mail. Who's the chairwoman? I honestly can't think of who that might be. Memory of Silverwinds. Sephiroth is known to value his private life, but there was a time when he had two best friends. We like to share a story of this reason guaranteed to raise a smile. The soldier trio would use the training room exclusively as their playground, but in order to retain their first class dignity, they would sneak, into only, sneak in only after the second class members have gone home. Then they would proceed to have one of, three stands with a dumb apple, one of the three stand with a dumb apple on his head, while the other two would throw their swords at the apple to pierce it. Sephiroth always won his Masamune, always striking every dumb apple dead center. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. Through his Moss Moon to an apple. What a dangerous man. It's exactly what I love about him. I know, right? Sephiroth's just the coolest. <laughs> but, but yeah. <laughs> they would they would essentially be doing William Tell stuff, but with swords. <laughs> Playing around like a bunch of children. I want to go through there. But yeah, we're gonna head back over here because if you remember, we saw that uh, that uh, helmet. So the the Shinra infantryman helmet, and uh, yeah, I got really concerned about what the heck was going on there. But I guess it's just it was just a, a fancy bag. Hello. Could this mask be the carrying case the kid was talking about? Hmm. There's something inside. How to build a wagon! Oh, there it is. That's my carry. I was like, that's my, that's my carrying case. So this is where I dropped the mask. I'm sure glad you found it. Why'd you put them in a thing like that? Because no one would think there's a treasure inside a Shinra army mask. It's a good. It's, it's called Street Smarts, big guy. It's a, it's a good point. Okay, we got everything. Why'd you head over to Ares's place? I'm going home. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going home. I thought Zach was just like, I'm going home. What, you're not coming along? Yeah, right, I know better than that. I'll leave the rest up to you. <laughs> what do you assume is- what? Let's do this again. I'll show you find more stuff if you look all over, all over Midgar. See ya! I know better than that? I guess I should go see her. I bet she's waiting for me. What do you- what do you think is gonna be happening? Nah, don't answer that question. 
Fan Song's camera over there. Creepy, creepy song. But anyway, now that we have everything, we can go back to Eris. I should have done all the missions from here, just so that I could hear the music every time I finish the missions. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back, Zack. Looks like you got everything. Let's start making the flower wagon, then. <laughs> flower wagon materials used. Used, lum used tools. Old lumber. Worn tires. How to build a wagon. So this is automatic. Like, you have to build this wagon. But if you remember, we did get other stuff. It's looking really good. The materials are matching perfectly. You're being very noisy today, PSP. Music? Hmm. Not quite what I expected. Harrison's theme. Really? I think it's fine. It's beautiful. It's all about the flowers anyway. I want a nicer one. <laughs> Stop being so picky. A tiny little wish. That's all. They're tiny, but you have lots, right? That's right. Wanna hear? <laughs> <laughs> How many you got? Hmm. Twenty-three? Twenty-three wishes. Write them down, so I don't forget. There are new developments. What? Headquarters, now. Sephiroth. Work stuff? Sadly. Here. That was fast. Mm. But Sephiroth, I wanted to hang out with my girlfriend. What could possibly be so important that you would be interrupting me on this? Huh? Legions of monsters have spawned near a regional Mako reactor. The workers have all gone missing. Local soldier operatives have also vanished. The company is dispatching additional operatives to investigate the matter. Bravo team. You and I went over is. there, but... Roger that. What's wrong? Never heard well, you me. know, I thought you found something out about that other matter. The missing operatives were the ones tracking Lazard. Uh huh? Also, they had reported a strange pod-like device in the area. Oh god, not pod people. Is that Hollanders? Probably the same device that was stolen in Modeoheim. Meaning? Lazard? Hollander? And Genesis? We'll have to go see them. Mm. Mm. Let's go. First, go to the soldier floor. We'll depart as soon as you and the rest of the men are ready to go. Understood. Our orders are to investigate the reactor. Mm -hmm. They mention nothing of old friends. Mm. Depending on what happens, I may abandon Shinra. Whoa. Huh. Until then, I'll remain loyal to Soldier. Crazy. Even Sephiroth's uh, trying to get out of this. I think everyone pretty much realizes that Shinra is just really evil at this point. Nobody seems to be coming. Oh, hey, Zack, I heard you're going on a new assignment with Sephiroth. I also received new order to inspect the Monka reactor at Fort Condor. Looks like we won't see each other for a while. Yeah, I guess this is goodbye. Hey, why the long face? Are you that sad to see me go? <laughs> I'm sad because I have to be away from Harris. I love you, man! <laughs> uh, it doesn't really matter what you say. I'm uh, sad because I love you. Oh, I didn't know you ki- Hey, quit joking around. It's that girl in the slums you're thinking about. <laughs> you still have some time, right? You should go see her before you leave. Don't worry about it. I'll explain everything to Sephiroth. 
Hey Sephiroth, Zack's hanging out with his girlfriend, so you just have to wait in the little Zard stuff, okay? But yeah, um, we can go straight to the soldier floor and uh, go on, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to head back to Eris because I'm a floor up. <laughs> uh, because uh, we can build her a better cart, and why not? We've spent all this time getting all the stuff ready. Also, this is a really, really nice time to uh, make use of the uh, Shinra building uh, with the 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 revive thingy because yeah might have trouble with that later but uh yes this is this is pretty much the last good time to use the Shinra building oh hey for missions not gonna really it's not gonna help out later analysis of the simultaneous attacks we have determined that the simultaneous attacks on five locations including junon and costa del sol were the criminal acts of an anti shirna organization their goal was to goal was to release a group of their own activists in shinra captivity and display a show of force but thanks to quick responses by soldier operatives the situation was quickly brought under control even in junon the target of the heavy attacks damage was kept to a minimum lies 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 hollander escaped uh, but yeah, let's head back to Eris and build our better cart. So while I'm walking, um, I'll just tell you about the uh, the two carts you can make. You can make either a cart out of, uh, it's called the cute wagon, I guess. And the other one is the Shinra lunch cart. I'm going to be making the cute wagon because it sounds cute. But um, each one is made out of four, uh, four tools. The Shinra lunch cart, uh, let's see... Uh, the Shinra lunch cart, you get all four uh, pieces of it, like the, uh, the the solder, the Shinra ceramics, Shinra treads, and, and the Shinra lunch cart specs uh, from doing that uh, uh, squat mini game that we did, where you have to you know increasingly do more and more squats within a set time and get into the fever pitch and all that stuff. So I guess it's the easier one to do. oh hey more mail easier one to do, but um, yeah. Budget report. After exhaustive engineering by the Arms Development Department, prototypes of the next generation of weapons are feature complete and being tested in the slums. Once mass production becomes feasible, it will enable us to lower human resource costs by drastically cutting down the number of personnel. With high expectations for these new weapons, we announced the following changes to the budget. Security Department, 7 billion gil, originally 10 billion. Arms Development Department, 8 billion originally, uh, 11 billion originally, 8. Uh, so yeah, they're funneling everything into Heidegger and Scarlet's uh, stuff, which, uh, and out of Soldier, which, not good. There's a lot of corruption going on. But the, um, yeah, so to make the cute wagon, uh, you have to do missions. Um, to get the Craftsman Monthly, it's the peacekeeping, uh, peacekeeping Troops mission. Uh, that was the Shinra Captain on Loveless Avenue that was like, yeah, we're better than you. Um, then to get the walnut wood that we need for it, you need to catch the six Wutai spies. Uh, so we did that also. Um, the uh, premium tires uh, were for the recall missions, which uh, I believe that was the guy that was like um, uh, the, the soldier third class or whatever, level one or whatever, that was like, I don't know what to do. And then as you're doing, it's like, oh yeah, I just need your help a little bit more, just a little bit more. And the mithril tools was for that scientist guy that, you know, we did at the beginning of this episode. Oh, Zach, are you done with work already? Actually, I was given an important assignment and have to leave Midgar for a while. When will you be back? I really don't know. Oh, can I call you? <laughs> of course! Of course! But don't worry, the job will be a cinch. I'll be back in no time. Hey, let's start now. Huh? Start what? Start filling the slums with flowers.
Yeah, it's really cute. I like it. You think we sell a lot of flowers? Hmm. Nobody's coming. Just give it a little more time. A lot of people will come. You'll see. Hmm. I think maybe it's because the wagon doesn't look very nice. Oh, a customer. Hey! You there! Wanna buy some flowers? Ten gill pop is a special one day offer. You're not gonna find a better price anywhere. God. Here's the customer will buy if you can go down to five gill. Sure, any price is fine. No, we have to be a little more aggressive than that. I'll renegotiate for seven. But the customer just left. Oh. I'm sorry, Eris. Why are you sorry? I'm having such a wonderful time. Because you're here with me. Hey, look, Zach, another customer. Oh, uh, now she's running off. Hi, Tsong. Don't worry about Eris. Protecting the subject is part of surveillance duty. Your accent. You're keeps the only changing. one I can depend on. Wow. <laughs> hey, hey, why are you laughing? I'm counting on you. This kind of explains why he's so protective in FF7. Heightened emotions have affected the DMW! Hooray! I don't know what help that's gonna be. Okay, so now we're at the Shinra building again. <laughs> oh, you're back. You're in luck, Sephiroth isn't here yet. So what are you gonna do? Are you just gonna wait here? I need a little more time! And now we're gonna go all the way back to Eris again. Yeah. And actually build her the, <laughs> the new cart. Uh, but yeah, I guess this is a good chance if you really didn't, you know, do you do the stuff and you enjoy getting Eris's limit, so you can go do that. I'm wondering if this means that there's more DMW images for Eris at the moment, just because of the like recent stuff. <laughs> We're at 80%. Um, I don't know why we're only at 10% with Genesis. Because I, I, maybe it's just I haven't gotten Apocalypse enough. Because he, I don't, I haven't seen any, uh, like, you know, images uh, or, like, memory things from him. So, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'll meet you back in Sector 5. Again. Okay, um, I'm gonna see if she's in the park first, because it is where we left her. Bop! No! It's weird... Weird graffiti. Doom, 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 boom. Doom, doom. No? No, she's not here? Okay. Fine. Go back to the church, then. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to build our cart, and that is going to do it for the episode, because that should, I mean, after we go back to Shinra building, it'll be the end of the chapter, so, yeah. So, yeah. Boom, boom. Besides, we get to listen to Eris' theme again, right? That's not Eris' theme, that's the other one.
Bum, bum, bum. Hi, Cart. Hi, Eris. I'm back! Tech, you have a lot of neat items. Mithril tools and walnut wood and premium tires and Crescent Monthly, huh? We use those materials, maybe we can make a new flower wagon. Yep. That's nice. What do you think, Eris? Huh. Bet you want to even to be even nicer, right? This one is cute. I th I like this one a lot. It's the best one so far. Oh yeah, let's take this baby out and sell some flowers. I swear, if this makes me go back to <laughs> Shinra headquarters again. I guess for the uh, for the Shinra uh, cart, it'll just be a third one, not a replacement. Yeah, it's really cute. I like it. You think we'll sell a lot of flowers? Welcome, welcome. How's that? The flowers are a bit hit, a big hit. <laughs> I told you so, didn't I? This rate, the wagon will be empty soon. Oh, it's such beautiful flowers. But of course they are, because Eris here tended to them with love and care. Is that so? Well, I think it would be wonderful to see these flowers growing all around the slums. Yeah, that's me and Eris' dream. Not just the slums either. We want the whole Midgar filled with flowers. Or, fill the whole Midgar with flowers. If they can grow under an open blue sky, I'm sure the flowers will blossom all over Midgar. Oh, Somebody here still doesn't seem to want to go outside. Remember what I asked you before? About whether the flowers might like going to the city above? Are you still afraid of seeing the sky? When you come back from your assignments, let's go sell flowers into the sky together. I won't be afraid if you're with me. Yes, I'll go with you. That's a promise. Thanks, Zach. Please don't put me back in the... Okay, thank God. <laughs> um, I'm just going to save here. Just in case. I don't know. Because why not? But um, yeah, we're going to talk to Eris again. I have the save files to do it. So yeah, so now we have two carts. Can we give you more? Zach, you have a lot of neat items. Shinra solder and Shinra ceramic and Shinra treads and Shinra lunch cart specs, huh? If we use those materials, maybe we can make a new flower wagon. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> it's not really flower wagon like. Zach? It's so cool looking. Wow, I really have a knack for this kind of thing. Uh. Okay, let's take this baby out and sell some flowers. I'm glad that it lets you, it doesn't like make you choose that you can make all three of them. Just to get all the scenes. <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. I like it. <laughs> Do you think we'll sell a lot of flowers? <laughs> what is this? I've never seen a model like this before. Is it a new Shinra weapon? No! It's a flower wagon. Can't you tell? Would you like to buy a flower? No. What are you staring at? Can you sell me this vehicle for 10,000 gil? 
I may be able to convert it into a powerful weapon. No deal. I made this wagon for scratch, uh, from scratch for Ares. You can't pull a put a price on something like that. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad to fill our wallets full of money first. <laughs> I'm kidding, silly. Okay, buddy, if you're not buying, then move along. <laughs> Some people. This is where it was sighted. Oh, no. Unidentified weapon sighted. Preparing to engage. Oh, come on. It's a flower wagon. <laughs> That's wonderful. And now we talk to Eris one last time. Just to actually say goodbye. First things first. You understand what I'm saying? You stay right where you are. You watch over Eris, please. Wow, three flower wagons. Thank you so much. I guess you better do go do your work now. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll meet you back in the Shinra building. And here we are, let's talk to Kunzel. So what are you gonna do? Are you just gonna wait here? I have no regrets! Thanks for everything. Let's finish our respective assignments quickly and meet back meet up again in Midgar. Will do, until we meet again. Cloud? What's up? I'm having a little trouble. Rounding up the group. We're in a hurry. Let's move it. Sir, what? Cloud? Together again, huh? How did I not notice you? Alright. Thanks. Hold on. I'll get everyone. Seriously, why are you not wearing your helmet? So evil. By the way, where are we going? To Nibelheim. Uh oh. And that's it for this episode. That's not a cliffhanger. So thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been Sephiroth 04 with Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7. In the next episode, we're heading to Nibelheim. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.